Mike, I've, I've known you for several years. And, and how, how long ago did you start Parents of Addicted Loved Ones? Started with Parents of Addicted Loved Ones in 2006. 2006, okay. Yeah. And what led you to starting that? I had started in the field of, uh, of recovery and uh, addiction counseling for addicts and alcoholics in treatment centers. And my first job was at Salvation Army in 1988. While I was working there, we started getting into family education. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't very big, but it started to get bigger. Through the years, uh, I began to have a specialty in family education. Uh, and then in 2000, actually in 1997, I moved up to Northern California and went to work for Salvation Army in a center up near uh, Santa Rosa, California. Okay. And they put me in charge of that family program. And so I took that program. Then three years later, I moved back to Phoenix mm -hmm. and went to work for Calvary and they put me in charge of that family program. So the short answer is working with families, I started to notice something special about parents. As family members would come to family education at the treatment centers, I noticed that parents were hopeless, not all of them, but a big bunch of them. Right high percentage of them. And they weren't walking around saying, I'm hopeless, I'm hopeless. My hopeless radar was up because I was used to working with hopeless addicts and alcoholics. Mm -hmm. Plus before that, I was one of those. So right. that's where it came from. Noticing hopelessness in, in parents was the very beginning of the thought and the idea, a special support group for them.